All right, so find a comfortable seat. Hmm. Let's begin by rubbing the palms of our hands together, bringing focus and energy into the palms. And we'll take the fingertips and gently brush them across our forehead, temples, and cheeks, brushing away any worries or expectations. Bring the fingertips to the eyes, palms to the cheeks, turning your attention inward and taking a couple of deep cleansing breaths. When you're ready, you can float your hands down, keeping your eyes closed or having your gaze downward. Extend your spine up tall, shoulders back and down. Lift your heart with each inhaling breath. Sitting bones sinking toward the earth with each exhale. We'll tune in with three ohms. Feel free to join in or just absorb the vibration. Take another deep breath in. Take a moment to absorb the vibrations of the mantra as it connects us all as one. Allow yourself to settle here this Saturday morning and set an intention for your practice, something you'd like to nurture or cultivate within yourself. Bringing your awareness back to the breath. Allow each inhale to bring you here, to this room, to this moment. Allow each exhale to release anything not needed for your practice today. With your next inhaling breath, allow the belly to soften and expand. And as you exhale, draw the belly toward the back.
Follow your body's rhythm. Expanding on the inhale. Contracting on the exhale. With your next inhaling breath, expand the belly and open the ribs, reaching them out to the side. And as you exhale, contract the belly and relax the ribs. Follow your body's rhythm, expanding and opening. Contracting and relax. With your next inhaling breath, expand the belly, open the ribs and lift the chest, creating space for your heart. And as you exhale, contract, relax and lower. Continue this full deep breath, expanding your lungs in all directions with each inhale. Completely releasing the breath with each exhale. As we continue this full deep breath, gently begin to lengthen the exhale, expanding the lungs fully with the inhale and slowing the exhale down, working to make it twice as long as the inhale. As we lengthen the exhale, it engages the parasympathetic nervous system, allowing the body and the mind to soften and relax. Soothe the fight or flight response can help to decrease anxiety. Take one more extended breath. As 
When you reach the end of your exhale, gently return to your natural breath. Taking a moment to notice any changes you feel in your mind or body. Remembering that our breath is always with us to help find those moments of peace, calm, Bringing your awareness to your right hand, allow the tips of the thumb and pointer finger to come together and bring those fingertips to your heart center. Turning your attention deeper inward toward your heart, looking within for your inner light and your inner joy. As you find that connection with the light within you, allow its warm glow to flow on the breath throughout your entire body. As you find that connection to your inner joy, allow it to radiate up onto your face in a smile. and breathe it out into the space around you. As we continue our practice, allow your light and joy to flow through each breath and movement, honoring all that you are in each moment. When you're ready, you can float your hand down. Gently open your eyes. If you'd like to change positions, you can go ahead and switch your legs or um, change positions in whatever way feels good for you. All right, so after you've switched or shifted positions as you need to, let's, um, with your inhaling breath, let's scrunch the shoulders up by our ears. And as you exhale, press the shoulders back and down. Inhale, lift and squeeze. Exhale, back and down. Inhale, lift and squeeze. Exhale, back and down. Spring the hands in front of the chest, palms facing down. Tuck the shoulders back and down. Lifting the heart. Gently squeezing those shoulder blades, strengthening the muscles around them, supporting the scapula. You might notice too, as we're here, if there's a difference in the strength on one side or the other. Now let's press the elbows back toward each other, lifting the heart, gently squeezing the center of the shoulder blades toward each other, wringing out any tension. I'm going to open the arms wide, turning the palms up. Think about squeezing the lower corners of the shoulder blades toward each other, opening the heart. If it feels okay, you can flex the wrists, pressing through the palms. And then we'll bring the arms in front, crossing the right over the left. Bending at the elbows, hands back to back or left hand around the right wrist. Dropping the shoulders away from the ears, elbows lift up to shoulder height. Gently squeeze the arms together, breathing into the upper back, pressing the elbows gently away.
If it feels okay, you can begin to lower and lift the elbows, extending that stretch around the shoulders. And with your next inhaling breath, if it feels okay, you can gently lift those elbows up higher and arch. And as you exhale, folding forward, dropping those arms down, listening to the back, not overdoing, allowing the weight of the arms to open through the upper back. And with your next inhale, coming back to the center. We'll unwrap the arms, open wide. And then bringing the arms in front again, crossing the left over the right, bending at the elbows, hands back to back or left, nope, right hand around the left wrist. Elbows up to shoulder height, dropping the shoulders away from the ears, gently squeezing the arms together, breathing into the upper back. And then again, if it feels okay, gently beginning to lower and lift the elbows, extending that stretch around the shoulders. And with your next inhaling breath, if that feels okay, you can gently add the arch, lifting those elbows up a little higher. And with the exhale, dropping down, folding forward, and really listening to your back. And with your inhale, coming back to the center and unwrapping the arms. Roll the shoulders back and down. Let's bring the arms out to the sides. Really think about tucking the shoulder blades down. And with your inhale, I want you to rotate the palms up. Feel those shoulder blades tuck down. Keep them there. And as you exhale, rotate forward, keeping the shoulder blades engaged. Follow your breath as you rotate the arms, but keep the shoulder blades tucked in. And then let's bring the hands to the heart. We'll interlace the fingers, press the palms out in front, roll the shoulders forward, drop the chin around the spine. With your inhale, lift the palms up over the head, gently arching. Exhale, rounding. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. This time as you exhale, leave the palms up and drop the chin. Soften the elbows. Gently roll the shoulders back toward each other, squeezing the upper corners of the shoulder blades, wringing out tension to those trapezius muscles across the shoulders into the neck. Relax the jaw, soften through the back of the neck. And if it feels okay, you could press the palms up a little higher. Listen to your body. And with your next inhale, lift the chin. And as you exhale, float the hands down. Take a breath in and out. And with your next inhale, let's reach the right arm up by our ear. Exhale, reach across the body. Inhale, lift and switch. Exhale, reach. 
Following the breath, inhale, lifting, exhale, reaching. And if your body wants to hold and breathe, go ahead and listen to that, letting the side body open, letting the hip drop down. Notice if the chin is away from the chest, heart stays lifted as we move side to side. We'll do one more on each side. And then coming back to the center. Let's bring the left hand to the right knee, right hand behind the right hip. Face forward, deep breath in. And as you exhale, gently twist toward the right. Head comes around last. Lifting the heart with your inhale, gently twisting through the exhale. Hold and breathe. If it feels okay, you could gently turn your chin toward the left shoulder, just adding a little different stretch with the neck as you're twisting. And then moving it back. And with your next inhale, we'll come back to the center and let the breath go. Bring the right hand to the left knee, left hand behind the left hip. Face forward, deep breath in. And as you exhale, gently twist toward the left. Head comes around last. Lifting the heart with the inhale. Gently twisting through the exhale. Finding that edge between flexibility and inflexibility. Again, if you'd like to add the neck turning the chin toward the opposite shoulder, taking a breath and gently coming back to the left. And with your next inhale, coming back to the center and letting the breath go. Let's go ahead and extend our legs out in front of us. Scooting the feet down toward the end of the mat. We'll flex the feet, lifting the spine tall. You can kind of move the flesh out either side to feel rooted down if that feels better. Sometimes it feel like I need to do that and sometimes not. It just depends on the day. So lengthen the spine tall, shoulders are back and down, hands can rest on the legs or floor. Toes are pointing up toward the sky and engage the kneecaps, drawing those quadriceps up, gently lifting the heels off the floor if that feels okay. Again, you can always alternate one leg and then the other to really think about getting that engagement. Reaching through the heels, lengthening through the crown of the head. And then let's soften the legs. With your next inhale, lift the arms up over the head. Exhale, gently fold forward. Resting the hands on the legs, floor, or feet. As you come to your next inhale, lengthen the spine by lifting the chin gently. Exhale, soften, allowing the ribs to come toward the thighs. Think about keeping the back of the neck long, but not tucked toward, not having the chin tucked toward the chest. 
You can walk the heels a little farther out if that feels okay. Letting go a little more with each exhale. And with your next inhale, lift the spine up tall. We'll bring the hands a few inches behind the hips, fingertips pointing toward the hips. You can either have the feet together for incline plane, lifting here, or bend the knees, placing the feet about hip width apart, and lifting here into reverse table. So do what feels right for you today. And with your next inhale, let's lift up tall, or excuse me, lift the hips up high. Elbows are soft. As you exhale, gently lower and hover if that feels okay. Inhale, lift. Think about keeping those elbows bent to strengthen those triceps. Exhale, slowly lower and hover. Inhale, lift. Hold and breathe if that feels okay or continue coming up and down. Elbows slightly bent, hips pressing high. Head extended out from the spine or tucked toward the chest, if not dropped back onto the shoulders. Let's do one more breath. And with that exhale, we'll gently lower down. And then we'll shake out those wrists. And then let's gently roll the rest of the way down. Bending the legs out, shoulders tuck under. Gently scan up the body, noticing any parts that feel tired, achy or sore. Honoring yourself and your body by listening to its messages. Pushing yourself to your edge, but not beyond it. And remembering that each time you do yoga, your body is a little bit different. Let's bend the right leg, floating the hands to the knee as you draw it in toward the chest. Lengthen through the neck, soften around the hips. Keeping the left hand on the knee, allow the right arm to fall out to the side, palm facing down. And as you exhale, gently twist over the left side of the body. Vision toward the right arm as much as feels okay for your neck. Release the muscles around the hip. Ease the spine into the twist. With your next inhale, come back to the center, extending your leg up toward the sky, take hold behind the hamstrings, calf or ankle. As you exhale, toes reach toward the ceiling. Inhale, flexing, pressing through the heel. Follow your breath, releasing the front and the back of the leg. And begin to make slow, gentle circles with your ankle, stretching your foot as far as it can go in each direction. And reverse the circles. Reaching through the heel, 
Draw the belly muscles down toward the back. can stay here or if it feels okay with your next exhaling breath, lift the head and chest toward the leg. Inhale, lower the head and chest. Exhale, lift, engaging those belly muscles. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Hold and breathe if that feels okay or continue coming up and down. Reaching through the heel, belly muscles are strong, neck is nice and long. If you'd like to add that extra challenge, you can flex your left foot and lift it gently off of the floor a couple of inches. And you can keep hold of that right leg or release the hand. One more breath. Releasing that left leg. Inhale, lower the head and chest. Exhale, slowly lower the right leg. Once you reach the floor, take a deep breath in and out. Let's bend the left leg, floating the hands to the knee as you draw it in toward the chest. Shoulders tuck under, neck is nice and long. Soften around the left hip. Keeping the right hand on the knee, allow the left arm to fall out to the side, palm facing down. And as you exhale, gently twist over the left, right side of the body, vision toward the left. Releasing the muscles around the hip. Easing the spine into the twist. With your next inhaling breath, come back to the center, extending the leg up toward the sky. Take hold behind the hamstrings, calf or ankle. As you exhale, toes reach toward the ceiling. Inhale, flexing, pressing through the heel. Follow your breath, releasing the front and the back of the leg. Now begin to make slow, gentle circles with your ankle, stretching your foot as far as it can go in each direction. And reverse the circles. Reaching through the heel, draw the belly muscles down toward the back, low back presses into the floor. You can stay here or if it feels okay with your next exhaling breath, lift the head and chest toward the leg. Inhale, lower the head and chest. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Hold and breathe if that feels okay or continue coming up and down, reaching through the heel. Neck is nice and long, belly muscles are strong. And you can stay here or add a little extra challenge by flexing that right foot and lifting it gently off the floor a couple of inches. And you can stay here or release the hands from the left leg. Take one more breath. And with the exhale, lower the left, right leg. <laughs> Inhale, lower the head and chest. 
and exhale, slowly lower the left leg. When you reach the floor, take a deep breath in and out. Let's bend the knees, placing the feet on the floor, tucking the shoulders under. We'll cross the right ankle over the left thigh, gently pressing that left knee out to the side. Nope, that's the right knee out toward the side. You can stay here or lift the left foot off the floor, take hold behind the hamstrings or over the top of the shin. Gently flexing the left foot as you draw the right knee toward the body just as far as feels okay. Lengthening through the spine, shoulders tuck under. Drawing that knee just as far as feels comfortable toward the torso and sending the breath to the right hip. Releasing any worries or frustrations stuck in the hip. Allowing them to float away on the breath. And gently release. We'll switch legs. Right foot on the floor, left ankle crosses over the right thigh. You can gently press that left knee out to the side if that feels good. Or lift the right foot off the floor, take hold behind the hamstrings or over the top of the shin. Flexing the left foot as you draw the right knee toward the body just as far as feels okay. Lengthening through the spine, shoulders are tucked under. Sending the breath to the left hip. Releasing any anger or anxiety stuck in the hip. Allowing it to float away on the breath. And then we'll gently release. Bringing both knees over the torso. Sorry, apparently that arm <laughs> phone is turned on down here. <laughs> Breathing into the low belly. From here, you can roll to the right side, pressing up through the hands or slip your hands behind your knees, kicking your feet over your head and gently rocking up. And let's come forward onto our hands and knees. Again, adding padding under the knees if that feels better. So bring the hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Softening the elbows so the inner elbows are facing each other. Lengthening through the neck, shoulders tuck back and down. Belly muscles drop toward the back in a strong table pose. With your next inhale, lift the tailbone, drop the spine, lift the chin. Exhale, tuck the tailbone round the spine, drop the chin. Inhale, lifting, spine follows. Exhale, rounding. Follow the breath.
once more. And with your next inhale, come back to table pose. Let's reach the right leg behind us, dropping that right hip so the hips are parallel to the mat, keeping the left hip stacked over the left knee, reaching the right left arm out as that feels okay, or keeping the hand down. Lift the heart, and if it feels okay, lift the leg a little higher. Notice what's happening with your right elbow. We have a tendency to lock it, so gently soften it. And we'll flip the hand down, draw the knee in, rounding the spine. And then lower the knee down. And rock a little side to side. Feeling how those hips feel. Softening those elbows again. Let's reach back through the left leg. Dropping the left hip so the hips are parallel to the mat. Extending that right arm out if that feels okay. Flexing the foot, lifting the leg behind us, lifting the heart, keeping that left elbow slightly bent. And we'll lower the right hand, draw the knee in, rounding the spine. And lower the knee down. We're going to take the right hand and sweep out to the side, taking a breath in. And as you exhale, we're going to thread the needle, bringing that right arm under the left. Resting onto the right shoulder, head resting onto the mat. You can maintain some support on that left hand if that feels better. Otherwise, you can gently lift the left arm up toward the sky. And then if it feels okay, you could reach that left arm toward the floor, so it's kind of over the ear. You could also bring the left hand to the low back. So finding that position that feels comfortable with the left arm. And I want you to think about pressing back into that right shoulder, feeling some stretch around the shoulder blade. And then softening wherever you feel like you might be holding on. And we'll bring the left arm back up and then down to the mat. Pressing into the left hand, coming back onto both hands. Take a breath in and out. With your next inhale, sweep that left arm up. And exhale, bring it underneath the right, coming onto that left shoulder and left side of the head. You can maintain the support on the right hand, or if it feels okay, lifting that right arm up toward the sky. And again, either bringing the hand toward the low back or toward the mat, bringing the arm over the ear. Once you find that comfortable place, gently pull back into that left shoulder, feeling that stretch around the shoulder blade. And then bringing the arm back up and bringing the hand to the mat. We'll press into the mat, coming back onto our hands and knees, or both hands. Let's walk the hands out and come down onto our bellies. Let's go ahead and have the hands by our, the sides. Chin or forehead resting on the mat. 
Pressing the pelvic bone into the mat and zipping our legs together. We'll work with boat pose. So with your next inhale, we're gonna lift the torso and the legs at the same time. If that feels like too much for your low back, you can choose one or the other. Exhale, lowering. Inhale, lift. Reach those hands back like you're reaching towards your feet. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Hold and breathe if that feels okay or continue coming up and down. If it feels okay for your shoulders, you could bring the arms out to make a T or bring the arms over, excuse me, extend it out in front of you. And with your next exhale, lower down. Take a breath in and out. Let's bring the hands under the shoulders. Press the hips back to the heels. Coming into child's pose. Or keeping the hips up a little higher into recline puppy. Listening to your body. Breathing into the spine. And let's shift up onto the hands and knees again. Tucking the toes under, press the hips up and back, downward dog. Softening through the knees, reaching back through the hips, pressing into the palms. Chin is gently away from the chest with the head between the arms. Rooting into that right hand. If it feels okay, you could reach the left hand toward the right ankle. And again, gently pulling to feel some of that stretching through the, right, the left shoulder. So the right shoulder is strengthening as the left shoulder is stretching. And bring that left hand back down, rooting into it, reaching the right hand toward the left ankle, if that feels okay. Otherwise, hold in downward dog with both hands. And we'll bring the right hand back. And let's walk the hands toward the feet, coming into Uttanasana. You can add a block underneath the hands if you'd like, or bring them to the shins or knees. Softening the knees, lengthening through the spine. Let the ribs come down toward the thighs as much as feels okay. Gently lengthening through the back of the legs by lifting the sitting bones. Again, if that feels okay, and making sure we're not locking the knees. Softening the knees with your next inhale. Sweep the arms out and up, palms together over the head, and then hands to the heart. Let's bring the hands behind the back, pressing the palms together. And if you would like to use, grab one, um, some kind of a strap or a sleeve or a sock, if it doesn't feel comfortable for your wrists or elbows to be here, you can use the strap instead, or like I said, a sock or a sleeve. So we're gonna do a little bit of the chest opener. So we wanna Press the feet into the floor, lift the spine up tall, shoulders back and down. Pressing the palms together or holding onto the strap. We're going to lift the heart with the inhale, straightening the arms just as much as feels okay and pulling them away from the body, not overdoing. And as you exhale, we'll fold forward again. Letting the arms fall over the back of the head as much as feels okay. 
Releasing the back of the neck. Listening to your joints. Your elbows or wrists are talking to you. <laughs> Adjust your position. And with your next inhale, drop the hands to the low back and then to the mat. And roll the spine up. One vertebrae at a time, head comes up, last shoulders back and down. Take a breath in and out. And then let's work with um, the um, standing knee to chest as a balance pose. And we'll, if we want to use the strap, we can also work toward opening the leg to the side today. So um, we'll find our balance on both feet. Spine up tall, shoulders back and down. Knees are soft. Lift the toes and spread them wide as you lower them down. Shifting your weight to your left leg, allow the toes or come onto the toes of the right foot and find a focus spot for your gaze. You can stay here again working on balance by lifting the toes. You can lift the knee, interlacing the fingers in front of the knee. You can take hold underneath the foot or add the strap underneath the foot. And then work on extending the leg out, either here or with the hands at the bottom of the foot. You can also have the hands underneath the thigh. And then if it feels okay, because it's easier with a strap, <laughs> you can work on rotating that leg out to the side. Lifting the heart, shoulders are back and down. Coming back to the center, gently releasing the strap as you lower down. Shake out that left leg. And we'll find our balance on both feet again. Spine tall, shoulders back and down, belly strong, knee soft. Lift the toes and spread them wide as you lower them down. Shifting the weight to the right leg, coming up to the big toe of the left foot. Finding a focus spot for your gaze. You can work on balance again by lifting the toes. Or if it feels okay to lift the knee, you can interlace the fingers in front of the knee. You could take hold underneath the foot with the hand or with the strap. <laughs> and you can work on extending the leg out in front if that feels okay, or taking hold underneath the thigh. And again, if it feels okay for you, you can work on opening out to the side. Heart is lifted. Right knee is slightly bent to help catch those wiggles. Notice what happens with the shoulders. I just noticed mine are up by my ears. Gently tuck them back in down. <laughs> and then I will go down. <laughs> Holding just as long as feels comfortable. I got focused on my shoulders and forgot what I was doing with the rest of my body. <laughs> and when you're ready, coming back to the center and lowering down. <laughs> All right, let me get a quick sip. So let's um, come to the front end of your mat and step back with your left leg. So we're gonna inhale the arms out at shoulder height. Exhale, bending that right leg. Vision toward the right arm. Tuck the shoulders, lift the heart. Your Bhadrasana two, warrior two. Really activating both of the legs, pushing into the feet, feeling that nice, strong, steady base. Let's bring the forearm to the thigh. And bring that left arm over the ear.
And with your next inhale, press into the foot, lifting up, bringing the arms back out. And let's drop the hands behind the back, interlacing the fingers again. And we'll move into Humble Warrior. And again, you can um, keep the arms at the low back or you can work more with the chest opener again as well. So we're gonna bend that right knee again. And we're gonna bring the right shoulder toward the right knee. And then if it feels okay, you can drop the head down so you're looking underneath the knee. Gently bowing, pressing into the feet. You can leave, as I said, the arms relaxed or pressing the palms together, rolling the shoulders back. You can open up, dropping the arms over the back of the head. Bringing the hands back down if they were up with your next inhale, press into the feet, lifting the torso. And we'll release the hands. And we'll switch the feet. So the left foot at the front end or short end of the mat. Dropping the right heel, hips opening up to the long end of the mat. We'll inhale the arms out at shoulder height. Exhale, bending that left leg. Vision over the left arm into Virabhadrasana 2. Soften the shoulders, lift the heart. Actively press into both feet. And we'll bring the left forearm to the left thigh. Dropping that right arm over the ear, if that feels okay for your shoulder. Pressing into the feet, we'll lift up tall. And drop the hands behind the back. Again, interlacing the fingers, roll the shoulders back, lift the heart. As you exhale, bend the left leg. And we'll bring that left shoulder toward the knee. Again, you can stay here or drop the head down looking underneath the thigh. Keeping both legs strong and active. And you can keep the arms resting here or press the palms together, roll the shoulders back and lift the arms up over the back. Bringing the arms to the low back, gently pressing into the feet, lifting up tall. And then we'll bring both feet to face the long end of the mat. Let's inhale the arms up over the head. Exhale, swan dive, hips out behind us. Soften those knees as you float the hands down under the shoulders, onto the blocks or floor. Softening the knees, press into the feet and gently lift up through the sitting bones, lengthening those hamstrings. Let's walk the hands over toward the right leg. Gently lengthening the spine down. You can turn the torso to face the thigh, hands on the floor, block our leg. Pressing into the right foot as you lift up through the right hip. Now let's lift the toes of the right foot and point toward the short end of the mat, bringing the hands on the inside of the foot. We'll come up onto the toes of our back leg, coming into lizard. Lengthen the spine can drop the knee down if that feels better. And you can also come onto the forearms and drop the right knee out to the side, coming onto the outer edge of the foot if that feels okay. And then notice what's happening with your shoulders. If they're scrunching up, gently draw them back down.
We'll come back onto the hands, walking back to the center. And then walking over to the left foot, hands on the floor block or leg, turning the torso to face the thigh as you lengthen out over the leg. Making sure that knee isn't locked, press into the left foot as you lift up through the left hip. And bringing the hands to the mat, we'll lift the toes so they point toward the short end of the mat, bringing the hands on the inside of that left foot, coming up to the toes of the back foot, dropping the hips down into lizard. Again, you can keep the knee up or draw the knee down. You can stay on the hands or come onto forearms. And you can let that left knee drop out to the side gently if that feels okay. We'll bring the foot back to the mat, come on to the hands, and come back to the center. Lengthening up through both hips. Let's walk the feet closer toward each other, stopping just outside of hip width apart. Dropping the hips down, you can bring that block in the center behind the heels if you'd like to use that. Can work on strengthening the hips here. Or if you want to work more on opening, you can drop the hips down. Pressing the elbows or upper arms into the thighs or knees. And you can also come all the way down to the mat, walking the feet a little further apart. Again, opening the hips by pressing into the knees or thighs. Lengthen through the spine, tailbone reaches toward the floor. Listen to your body. Take one more breath. And then let's gently lower all the rest, the rest of the way down to the floor if you're not there already. We'll come back to a cross-legged position. Lengthening the spine, shoulders back and down. With your next inhale, Let's reach up through the crown of the head. And as you exhale, drop your right ear over your right shoulder. Tuck the right shoulder back and down, breathing into the left side of the neck. Heart is lifted even though the head is tilted. If it feels okay, you can bring the left arm behind the low back allowing that left shoulder to drop a little more. Notice where you might be holding on. Gently let go. With your next inhaling breath, lift your head back to the center, releasing the arm, and letting the breath go. Let's inhale, lengthening through the crown of the head. Exhale, dropping the left ear over the left shoulder, tucking that left shoulder back and down, breathing into the right side of the neck. And if it feels okay, you could bring that right arm behind the low back, allowing that shoulder to drop a little more. 
keeping the heart lifted. Letting go a little more with each out breath. And with your next inhale, lift up tall and bring the hand back as you let the breath go. We'll lengthen up with the next inhale. Exhale, turning your chin over your right shoulder. Hold and breathe. Shoulders are back and down, heart is lifted. With your next inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, chin over the left shoulder. Shoulders are back and down, heart is lifted, hold and breathe. With your next inhale, come back to the center. As you exhale, drop the chin toward the chest, keeping the heart lifted. Inhale, sweep the chin toward the right shoulder. Exhale to the center. Inhale, sweep the chin toward the left shoulder. Exhale to the center. Inhale, lift the head, spine reaches tall. Exhale, let the breath go. Then let's uh, come to the center of our mat. We'll round the spine and gently roll down. Lift the legs up toward the sky, rocking the hands or a block underneath the hips to support the legs. Lengthening through the neck, ankles and knees are soft as you breathe into the belly. Let's bend the knees, rock the hands or block out from underneath the hips. We'll draw the knees in toward the chest, gently hugging them in. You can make small circles with the low back or rock from side to side. If you're making circles, reverse the circles. And if you'd like one last twist, you can bring the arms out at shoulder height, palms facing down, knees together, gently dropping the knees to the right, vision to the left, soften through the spine. Inhale to the center. 
Exhale, gently dropping the knees to the left, vision to the right. And with your next inhale, coming back to the center, gently lowering the feet down and extending out into Shavasana. If that feels okay for your back, you can add a bolster under your knees or walk the feet to the edges of the mat, resting the knees together. Whatever feels best for your body in this moment. Tucking the shoulders under, arms slightly away from the body with the palms turned up. Relax the forehead. Soften your eyes. Loosen your jaw. Gently bring your awareness back to the breath. Allowing each inhale to fill you with a sense of peace and calm. Allowing each exhale to release anything that no longer serves you. Let the breath bring you back to your heart center. Reconnecting with the light and joy that always reside deep within your heart. Let each breath fill your heart with loving kindness for yourself. Sending that loving kindness to each and every cell of your body. Honoring all of who you are in this moment.
Yeah, maybe the end of with all your fingers and toes. And stretch in whatever way feels comfortable for you. When you're ready, you can gently bend your knees, roll to your side and rest there for a moment. And gently return to a seated position. We'll end with a matter of blessing of loving kindness. Please feel free to join in. May all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings have peace. May all beings awaken to the light of their true nature. May all beings be free. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you all so much for joining me today.